Hello Android users, this is a video about my Sony Ericsson Xperia X8. I'm using a custom ROM and I have rooted my phone to use Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Its original version was the, the update for 2.1, I clear. Here you can see on about phone Android version 2.3.5. This custom ROM runs actually pretty well on the phone. There's no problems as far as I see and uh, it actually is really smooth just like the, um, the previous version I had installed um, the factory one as you can see here are the, um, the applications I had installed um, this custom ROM uses AWD launcher as your default application launcher here so you can create several pages for your applications for example, I have one called Games. Another thing I have done to my phone is to enable multi-touch on this phone. I actually never saw it before, uh, but it's a fun thing to discover because this phone really needed multi-touch. Uh, here you can see the, the gallery and uh, the pictures. The album is actually in tilt when you tilt your phone. For example, I can show you the multi touch. It's not really accurate, but it gets the job done and it's really useful for some situa situations. For example, with this picture, it's pretty good for a phone like this that has no multi touch to actually be able to handle it because it, it's really uh, useful not only on pictures but also on web pages and especially on those games that require, require multi-touch as I, can, I could never play them it was a big drawback on this phone as you can see there are no, no problems at, at all with this version also something you can use too let me show you. It's in the um, settings. You will have a new menu called Cyanogen Mod Settings. Here you can find some settings for everything on your phone. And the most important one, in my opinion, is performance. When you go here, you can set your CPU to overclock it. I actually have this enabled, but as you can see, the maximum frequency is still the same, so I haven't changed it. You can select another frequency for your phone to to work with, but be careful with too high frequencies, as they might may hurt your phone. You also have governors, which which are basically like power setting settings. For example, performance on demand is what is selected. You have conservative, under space, power save. Let's go to performance. This setting actually makes your CPU always use the maximum frequency you have set. So it's it's really good. The the phone won't have any performance issues. Also you can do some fun things here like interface, render effect. You can put your phone in green like this. You have lots of colors and effects. For example red. All your phone will be like this. It's cool on the menus, but not on the home screen and applications. So, so basically, as you can see, it's it's pretty good for any any owner of an Xperia X8 to do this to their phones. Uh, also, another important thing here is the, the ability to put your applications on your SD card. It was a really big problem for me because this phone has a lot of internal memory issues. For example, Google Goggles. Let's select it, Application Info. And here you have the Move to SD Card option. You can really see it well. For example, it's moving now, so we should do it in a second. My, uh, it's done. 
now I can move it back to my phone if I want to. Um, one of the biggest drawbacks on this phone was the inability to have a lot, lots of applications because the internal memory is really limited, but this actually solves the problem. Uh, you have most applications that come with your phone, Some more, for example, super user. This is what you get after rooting your phone. It allows your applications that need super user access to have that access, like root explorer. And basically you have the same stuff that the stock phone has, some more. The camera is normal, it's 3.2, um, 2.3 camera, sorry, works normally, you can select video or photos, supports 3 megapixel photos, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it has VGA and 3 megapixel photos. So everything is is a bit different here. You also have an option to enable super brightness, ultra actually. This is um, an important thing for me because I always thought this phone had uh, a really low brightness level. This is actually too much for the camera to handle, so I'll just turn it back down. And as you can see, it runs really smoothly here, so there are no big problems, and it's just great to have um, Xperia X8 with 2.3 gingerbread running. I will probably make a guide on how to root your phone install 2.3 mod, CyanogenMod, mod, and how to enable movie touch soon, so I hope you keep in touch. Thank you for watching.